one thing that I spoke about is that, you know, some shows don't translate as well to the United States from the United Kingdom. And that's the reality of the situation. For example, Matilda, the biggest, biggest children's movie really out there. It came to Broadway in New York. It did okay. It didn't do tremendously. But in the West End, in the UK, it did phenomenally and still on, still in the U, uh, UK. But here in the United States, it closed. So there's just certain shows that you have to be just wary of whether or not story doesn't translate. History. There's a lot of history shows in the UK about uh, London history and uh, Parliament that, you know, I'm thinking to myself, will it translate okay to the United States? And maybe people will like it. Maybe people won't like it. They may not get it. So that's something wary of when you're speaking with someone from uh, overseas. Uh, in any business, whether it's theater, movies, or any business you go into, you have to be wary of, in the United States, is that market, right, going to translate? For example, certain actors and actresses do phenomenally in certain uh, cities around the country, like Spain, um, Germany, Italy. Some really popular uh, stars perform well there, but they don't perform well in the United States, and vice versa. I've seen it all the time looking at distribution deals and um, other film projects whereby they may want to uh, have a particular actor uh, in it, but we may not like it because they don't do well here in the United States. So that's something that, you know, I was always thinking about when, you know, pe people re reach out to me and specifically, you know, her that reached out to me via LinkedIn. I was looking at that and saying, hmm. You know, I think about that if I, you know, decide to invest in a particular project she's working on.